have an item under city manager staff reports that is a consideration of first reading of an ordinance number 997 to be read by title and only and wait for the reading, adjusting the boundaries of four city council districts and adopting a new official council district map based on the results of the 2020 decennial <laughs> census. Mr. City Manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and members of the city council. So. Um, as you noted, this is the uh, readjustment of the boundaries, and so I'm going to have our Deputy Director of City Clerk Services, Patricia Bravo Valdez, who just got her MMC certificate, uh, give the staff report and presentation for this item. So, Patty. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gillison. So, as Mr. Gillison noted, um, good evening, Mayor, members of the City Council. As Mr. Gillison, Mr. Gillison noted, this evening we will be conducting the first reading of the ordinance adopting our and adjusting our city council district boundary maps. Um, in summary, every 10 years, local governments with by-district elections are required to redraw their district lines to reflect how local government po populations have changed based on data received by the U.S. Census. This process ensures that all districts have a balanced population. In accordance with current legislation, it also requires for cities to engage communities in the, in the redistricting process by conducting public hearings and engaging the public in the participation process of it. So far, we conducted five public hearings since Feb September 16th. The <coughs> deadline to submit maps to the county is April 17th, 2022. We are on target to meet that deadline. The city notified the public about the redistricting process through the public hearings, and NDC, the city's demographer, developed seven, a total of seven draft maps for the city council's consideration. All of that information is available at our, our redistricting website, drc.org. At the last public hearing, the City Council directed staff to publish a revised map based on public input received. Uh, this, at the last public hearing, the City Council received input from residents residing in District 1, requesting to remain in District 1. And the City Council authorized staff to return with an amended map and publish that on the website and continue the ordinance for first reading at tonight's meeting. Election sequencing will not be changed and it will be in accordance with the Municipal Code Section 2.11, and this map, the preferred map, meets the required federal and state criteria and makes minimal changes to the existing city council district boundaries. This image reflects the preferred district map. <coughs> the red border lines represent the current districts and the shaded areas represent the new council district boundaries. This map meets the required, um, the required federal and state criteria as mentioned. This information represents the demographic data that is also included as part of the ordinance in the preferred map. The total population for the four districts is at 174,809 individuals, and each of the four districts must contain about 43,702 individuals. The deviation total from the tar targeted goal is at 6.23%, while keeping in mind the various requirements in redistricting, such as ma maintaining communities of interest intact. Some of the highlights of the preferred map selection include having a population balance between districts in accordance with legal st standards. We have compact geographical sh shapes for fair map act purposes. We're maintaining our communities of interest together. The boundaries are easily identifiable. And in accordance with our settlement agreement, the plaintiff has indicated agreement on this revised map. If, ado if adopted at second reading, this will be the city's map for the next 10 years. At this time, we'd like to thank the public for their participation in the redistricting process. And the staff recommendation is to introduce first reading of ordinance number 997, adjusting the boundaries of the four city council districts and adopting a new official council district map based on the results of the 2020 decennial census. That concludes my presentation and I am available to answer any questions you may have. Very good, thank you. Uh, very good report. Any questions of Patricia, before we open the public hearing. Public hearing is now open. Is there any members of the public that wish to address the City Council on the districting revised maps for council districts? Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. And if there are no further questions, uh, we've been through this. This is the sixth meeting we've dealt with this very issue. So what I'd like to entertain a motion that we'll, we introduce first reading of ordinance number 997 to be read by title only and waive any further reading. Do I have a motion? Move for approval. Second. Madam Clerk. 
Ordinance Number 997, an ordinance of the City of Rancho Cucamonga, California, adjusting the boundaries of the four city council districts and adopting a new official council district map for the City of Rancho Cucamonga based on the results of the 2020 decen decennial census. Thank you. Very good. Please vote. Motion carried unanimously. Very good. Thank you. Any council business or council announcements? Interagency updates. Items from our city attorney. No reports tonight. Thank you, sir.